So one of my favorite features in Bias FX2 is actually the looper feature they added. So yeah, this is the little looper window. Uh, up top, you can set how long you want your loop to be. In this case, I have it set to uh, four bars. You can change the tempo, you can change your counting, and then if you want a counting at all or not, and then if you want a click or not. I have my countings to eight, that way I have enough time to start recording. Uh, at the bottom, it says action after recording. I have it set to dub. Uh, this means that it'll start recording immediately after those first uh, four bars, uh, kind of like a real pedal would. Uh, whereas if you hit play, it'll let you listen to what you just recorded before it starts recording, if that makes sense. Uh, so I have it set to dub, um, just so that it loops immediately after the initial. And uh, yeah, let's just record something and check it out. I can hit stop and it'll just stop it. It will still save my loop. Then I hit play. So yeah, that saved it. So if I like that, I can just export it uh, as an audio file so I can have it saved. And if I don't like it and I'm like, that sucks, I could just clear it and then just start over from scratch. Um, so yeah, that's essentially how the looper works. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature. I use it quite a bit. So another really cool feature in Bias FX2 is the guitar match feature. Um, the basic premise of it is that Bias FX creates a profile of your existing guitar. In this case, I can take this Jackson metal guitar and then make it sound like a completely different model, like a Telecaster, a Jazzmaster, a uh, John Petrucci's uh, signature guitar. So we're going to go take a look at how this works. Um, so if you hit guitar match, this little guitar symbol down here, it brings up the guitar match window and this is the first thing you see is you see all of the available models that you can potentially turn your guitar into. Uh, so we have Randy Rhodes signature, John Petrucci, I think that's John Meyer's signature. You can turn it into a jazz master guitar, um, gold top reissue guitar. Um, there's a lot of options here to choose from. These are all uh, from Bias Elite. Uh, but the BIOS professional version includes um, a lot of these as well. So the first step in guitar matching is essentially creating a profile of your current guitar, the guitar that you want to turn into something else. So I'm going to create a new profile. So that brings this create my instrument profile window and you get to name your guitar. So this is a Jackson Slat XMG3. And then you need to choose what body shape you have. Uh, there's a Stratocaster type, Telecaster type, Jazzmaster. If I go all the way down, I see humbucker, humbucker type, which is this, two humbuckers. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to go to assign pickups. So my neck pickup is a humbucker. I don't have anything in the middle, and then I have a bridge humbuck humbucker pickup as well. So I go to next. And then this says pickup select. So it says choose a pickup position to begin with a match process. So I'm gonna start with the neck. So I make sure my position is on the neck position here because that's the pickup that this will be profiling first. So I select that and then go to next. So this says measuring pickup output, turn the volume knob to full and play separate notes, not chords. <laughs> So that measured the output from my guitar just now. And then now it wants me to play slow arpeggios. On the second fret. It's gonna 
have me do this every two frets, I believe. So now it says profiling success. So that means that the neck pickup has been profiled. Then you have to kind of go back and do the same with your other pickups in this case, my bridge pickup. Um, but I can go straight to guitar match now, meaning that I can start playing with the other guitar models. Cool, so now that we have our guitar profiled, um, you'll see here it says from Jackson slash MG3, the neck pickup, if you click on it, it's it has middle and bridge, but they have exclamation points, meaning that I still have to profile those pickups. So this is just with the neck pickup, um, but I can start experimenting with turning it into all these different models that I see on the left hand side. So let's see how this custom 57 gold top reissue sounds like. Um, it's Les Paul. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Um, we can do a A B uh, with it off. So that's the sound of my guitar. Um, just this Jackson guitar. And then if you hit this little on and off toggle switch here, you can turn off the profile, which is the gold top reissue. So it sounds vastly different. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting seeing how it takes this guitar and kind of makes it sound like something completely different. Um, let's try the Telecaster as well. This one I feel like will be tricky only because I'm going from a guitar that has humbucker pickups in it to a single coil guitar. So I can imagine it sounds a little bit weird, but let's see. <laughs> It sounds a little bit trill to my taste. I think we would have to tweak the tone a little bit to make it into something that I like. So maybe let's try something a little bit more, a little bit closer to what I have, which is a humbucker um, metal guitar, essentially. So let's give the John Petrucci signature guitar a shot. Uh, let's put a distorted tone on it, though. And let's see what that sounds like. So you can turn it on or off with this little toggle here. So right now the guitar profile is on, so this should sound like Petrucci's guitar. sound uh, a little bit different. Um, it's kind of cool uh, to see how your guitar tone can change by activating this profile. Uh, let me make it all the way wet and see what that sounds like. And then off. Um, so yeah, it sounds a little bit different. Um, it's kind of cool to see. Uh, and yeah, you can literally just choose from any of these models you see on the left-hand side here. Um, this is the Elite version, so you have all of them included. Uh, the Professional version only has a few of them, but you can still have you know a few models to choose from, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that was just an overview of the Bias FX2. Um, pretty cool features, the looper and the guitar match that they added. Um, and just added a lot more, you know, options for pedals and amps and heads. So yeah, it's really cool. I'm excited to see what else they do. Yeah, thanks for checking it out and I hope it was useful.